right, hello. If um, you were fortunate enough to uh, get your hands on one of these um, DEF CON 31, uh, what we call a mini badge, a Hackerbox mini badge um, at DEF CON 31, then uh, um, you are in the right place with this video. Um, hopefully the little card that came with it uh, led you to this video via this QR code. We're gonna start with the switch. We'll get one, one, one corner soldered up. Then we're gonna go ahead and slide the switch into place with that one solder and make sure all of the all the other edges are more or less straight. It's pretty forgiving. So that's close enough. Close enough for mini badge work. I'll we'll go ahead and get the other iPad solder here real quick. And um, we've been doing some sort of mini badge. Sometimes we call it a badge buddy when it's got our bit head logo on the front. Uh, been doing some sort of version of that for the last six or seven years, I guess. So, you know, you may have had some different versions of this, this mini badge. So, all right, next thing we're gonna do is this little uh, battery holder. This is the, the clip that goes on it and it goes like this. This is the open side. Although the way this is oriented, it'll actually work in either direction. You can put it either way, but you get a little solder on one of these sides. I mean, you're doing a big pad like that. You know, normally the rule of thumb is that a, a, we heat up a, a solder point for about two to three seconds. These things right here take a little more, maybe like seven or eight seconds. And you gotta kind of get a little, a little bit more um, manual with getting the the thing heated up but since I'm holding it I can actually tell it's pretty well heated up and then we'll go ahead and get more solder on the other side now that I'm not holding it that's a little easier get the solder all the way up over the the flange and just get a nice mechanical bond on there and then we'll go back and That going over here too. All right, so now both sides of this this clip, this coin cell clip, are really soldered well into place. You can see the solder is going right up on there. I'll just go ahead and pop that in there. It's really nicely into place. And now we've got three LEDs that go on the front that are going to uh, be cell flashing LEDs that light up really cool. And if we look back here, you'll see that each one is marked long pin and short pin. And the short pin has the square hole. And if you look at the LED, it's got a long pin and a short pin. So we're going to put the short pin in the square hole, which is towards the center of the board. So there's, there's multiple things. Oh, look, we turned that switch off because we've already got power on here. Oh, it's crazy. Um, go ahead and drop all three of those into place. And we get it all upside down and so that our table's holding them into place and make sure that we have the short pin facing the center of each one and now we can go around go along and put some put some molten metal we're going to melt some heavy metal on these guys I'm resisting the urge I have to sing a piece of metal for you right, some iron maiden or something Sabbath and war pigs. So they're all soldered up. If we turn it on now, all three of them will be lighting up. That looks really nice, right? But we'll leave it off and go ahead and trim these. And trimming these wires reminds me to say always, I hope you are wearing your, your safety glasses. So there you go. There's your three LEDs. And I think these self-flashing LEDs are pretty cool how they, they start kind of in sequence and then they quickly uh, get out of sync just due to like a minor manufacturing variation of the circuit inside.